Why, hello, friends! Welcome to the stream! Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone? Oh, George, hello. Uh, Paria, hello, or Peria. Let me know how to pronounce your username. Paria, Peria. Pretty sure you mentioned that you were somebody. I forget what it was. Oh, no, I think... No, we played... We played something online together. We played Wizards of the Grimoire, I think. But welcome. Hello. Hello. The Great Dane. Hello, hello. Bored to play. Hello, hello, Joe. Welcome to the stream. Linda. Watching while making some bacon and bean soup. Oh my god, that sounds fantastic. To commemorate... Or com commemorate... English is hard. <laughs> the temperature's dropping. Ugh. Oh, it's soup season, baby. Soup season is my favorite kind of season. Soup season and baking season. Arcane Mage, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you? We all thirsty for some unboxing. <laughs> Heck yes. We are. I'm pumped. Kim, hello. Welcome to the stream. Jeremiah, hello. Marina, hello. Holy moly, that's a lot of boxes. It is a lot of boxes. <laughs> I know. Melinda, hello. Um, Trip Tip, hello. Jenna, switch the or switch to live chat. I am already on live chat, George. I am just so much better at remembering about that than uh, my other. <laughs> I almost called them colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> my other my friends my friends aka Alex and Meg <laughs> the house smells so good oh yes I'm so excited for like baking and like soup making ooh have you been watching glam and gore Jenna no I have not but why is she a she's a YouTube channel right I think I used to watch her. Proud of you for, for not being Alex. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a really big uh, achievement here, not being Alex. <laughs> no one tell Alex that, though. <laughs> yep. Good thing you made room for them on your destashing stream. Yep. Exactly. Hungry for some unboxing. Soup season. <laughs> uh, Jenna, make sure you cover your address so you don't dox yourself. Yes, I am way ahead of you. I went through all of the packages and I put a little a little bit of washi tape on my addresses for the ones that I couldn't peel off. I did peel off some of them, um, but the ones that I could not get off, I just uh, put. Or if I was too lazy to peel it off, I just put on uh, washi tape. I'm very excited, guys. You have no idea. I wanted to start off the stream with, with these here, um, but I am going to push them aside um, in a second. So, looking forward to this. I am pumped. Hello, Thomas. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Hello, everyone. Nat, hello. Welcome to the stream. Do you know what's in those packages, Jenna? Is there any chance one of them is the old king's crown? One of them is the old king's crown, Nat. I am so excited to unbox it. I'm so excited to dive into it. You have no idea. Um, I believe that one is this one right here. This is the old king's crown right down here, everyone. The one that I'm nicely petting. Um, but some of them, I actually have no idea what some of them are. Um, obviously... This one here, I have a slight, maybe a little bit of a, a hinkering. That's not the right word. <laughs> I have an inkling. <laughs> I got a hinkering. <laughs> I haven't, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> um, but yes, anyways, let's get into this, shall we? So are they all different copies of Monopoly? Heck yes. Yep. That's what it is. We got 
Monopoly Spellbook up here. We got Monopoly Old King's Crown down here. <laughs> Hello, garden goers. Hello, Brian. Welcome to the stream. A hinkering. <laughs> Please hold. What is the word that I'm trying to think of? I have no idea. Dang, that is a beautiful stack. I just have Amazon packages today. <laughs> Meg, hello. Welcome to the stream. Inkling. I th I don't even know what the word is. I is it inkling? I don't know. But Meg, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you? I got your uh your text message this morning. I too am very awful at sending back text messages. So, you'll get one back from me eventually, but just know I also miss you. I adore you. Hopefully you're doing well, Meg. You have a suspicion that it's spellbook. That's, yeah, that's probably a better word. <laughs> a little bit of an easier word. Hankering? Hankering for some spellbook. <laughs> I watched your Essen video. Have you heard about Critter Kitchen? <gasps> oh, Abby, have I heard of Critter Kitchen? Please hold. Hold up. Ta-da! I'm so excited for it. I played it at Gen Con, and I will be covering it on the channel, which I'm so excited about. Jenna, George bullied me in Two Can't Stop. Oh, no. Adam. It is Inkling. Okay. Catherine, thank you so much. <laughs> that would have haunted me forever not knowing what the heck word I was trying to think of. Oh boy. English, English is hard. For me, at least, so. Maybe it's not inkling. Because <laughs> Arcane just said, hinkering, a strong desire for what you hope something will be. Is it a hinkering? A hinkering sounds funny. Maybe that's just you. Is that what I said? Was hinkering the word that I made up? <laughs> are we just accepting that hinkering is now a word? I think we are. <laughs> it's it's a word now. Jealous of Critter Kitchen. Hope it's as cute and fun as it sounds. I, I genuinely really enjoyed it. Um, I also do really enjoy Flamecraft, which is just behind my head here. Um, but I do think that I might enjoy... The gameplay of Critter Kitchen a little bit more. We will see. It has a little bit more um, strategy to it than Flamecraft. I still really enjoy Flamecraft as well. Did I say hankering? <laughs> At this point, all of those words are sounding very odd to me. <laughs> We're accepting of you and <laughs> your your odd language. Yep. It's it's a language called Jenna. I speak Jenna. Um, but anyways, friends. Let's get into this. Also, I do want to give a huge shout out to my hat. This is from my friend's brand called Carmico. Definitely recommend you guys go and check out their website. Um, I meant to actually put it in. Um, I usually, for Carmico, I have a little like thing that I put in chat, but I don't have that because it's on uh, whatever it's called Twitch. Inkling. A suspicion. Ah, gotcha. Too bad no solo mode for Critter Kitchen. So Marina, I will let you know that I have talked to them and they are working on hopefully having a solo mode as a um, like stretch goal for um, the Critter Kitchen campaign. Much like Flamecraft, I do believe that they, they, they did that for Flamecraft where they had the solo mode as a stretch goal. Um, so hopefully that's what they're going to do. I think that's what they decided to do. Um, the really hard thing is that Critter Kitchen, the way the gameplay is, it's, I can see how it's very difficult to, um, work and develop a solo mode for it just because 
it's it's a hard type of gameplay to um, kind of fake like an AI kind of thing. Um, so I'm very excited to see what they do with that. Um, they are in development of a solo mode and it's going to be a long process for them to do that. So they're wanting to make it like a stretch goal so that they can easier do that or easily do that. Aw, George, you are freaking wonderful. Thank you so much. Also, Aiden. Aiden just popped in chat. Aiden is my wonderful friend that is part owner with his uh, partner of Carmiko. So go check out Carmiko. Um, I am actually wearing this hat today because my hair is very greasy. So huge shout out to Carmiko for covering up my greasy hair and making me look presentable. Appreciate it. <laughs> I also wore this out today and I felt very cute and Francis told me I looked cute in a hat. So I think I'm gonna be wearing hats more often. Um, but anyways, I, again, am gonna get into this video. We're gonna push these oh, boxes off to the side. I do quickly wanna show you guys a few games that I did um, purchase and get in the mail not too long ago. One of them was technically for like Francis's birthday, a little birthday gift for him um, because 401 Games got a game in that he's been wanting to try for a really long time um, and has been really interested in. Um, so they got that in stock. So I ended up purchasing that along with another thing. Carmiko man, dude, Sif, please make slouchy beanies. Aiden, you hear that? A poner? Part owner. You're a poner. <laughs> a poner. <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> you do look cute. Hats are so much more convenient than washing hair. I know, Meg. I find you wear a lot of hats and you have inspired me. You look so cute in hats and I'm like, I could never pull off a hat. But look at me. I'm pulling a hat off. It's crazy. All right. So... I'm going to just quickly show you guys these games first. I have lots of boxes here. So, do you guys want to see them? Like, I don't know if this will look any good. Oh, yeah. Push these off the screen. All right. So, these, first off, are the games that I purchased from 401 Games. Um, so they were having a, um, I think 401 games are starting to do this thing where they have weekly deals. So they put on a game for a really, really good price. Um, so the games that I purchased, the first one is Floor Plan, The Winchester Mystery House, which is something I love. Um, I love the tale of the Winchester Mystery House and, uh, whatever her name, I forget what her name is, but she like... Her husband died and she ended up building this crazy house. Um, the whole, oh yeah, her name is Sarah. Sarah is always building. Um, I've always wanted to try floor plan. It is a uh, roll and write where basically you are building out a floor plan, um, which I think is very fun. And this one just brings a like spooky spin on it. So yes, I ended up grabbing this. They had it on sale for like $12, so decided to pick it up. I believe it is still on sale for $12, even though it is no longer the deal of the week, which I think the deal of the week right now is Applejack. So if you guys are wanting to pick up Applejack, I think it's on sale for like 40 bucks. Carmiko man, please bring out the Halloween slash horror slash slasher line sooner. Uh, Nat is very excited for that. Loud and clear. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I just saw the mushroom beret on Carmiko's site and I'm obsessed. Yeah, they have the cutest things. Um, they are coming out very soon with these bags. And uh, I got one of the bags and it's an egg. It is the cutest freaking thing. Um, if you guys go onto my Instagram, I have a picture of me with the egg bag. 
and it is my egg bag and will forever be my adorable egg bag and I love it very much. Um, that's going to be coming in stock soon on the Carmico website um, and it's very cute. Sarah Winchester was the wife of the guy who made Winchester rifles. Um, very wealthy, yes. So basically she had a bunch of money and she slightly went crazy and thought that building in different ways would, I think, I think she said something about like the people that were killed with Winchester rifles, their spirits were haunting their house. Um, once her husband died, the spirits were haunting the house and she went a little bit crazy and like started building in certain ways in order to like try to get rid of the spirits. And it was just this crazy thing. Um, I think I like watched a whole documentary on it. Um, it just fascinates me. Just the way that she built that house and the weird, I would love sometime in my lifetime to visit the Winchester house. Um, I think that would be so, so cool. But anyways, yes, um, she did go crazy or did she go crazy or was she haunted? Um, probably both, probably both. But I did pick up, this was the game that <laughs> I picked up for Francis. Um, partly for Francis, partly for me, because this is a game that we've chatted about wanting to play. I have played Heat um, one time in person. I played it at Level Up Retreat and absolutely loved it. And um, Francis really wants to get more into racing games. So this is one that he's been wanting to try. We played, um, when we were in Los Angeles last year, we played Flamme Rouge and Francis really enjoyed Flamme Rouge. We've also played... Um, I almost said Camel Up. I don't think Camel Up is a uh, <laughs> a racing game. Um, but we also played Downforce, which Francis enjoyed a lot. So, yes. Heat, we are very excited to get to the table. We're hoping to play it the next time our friends Tom and Asha come over. So, those were the two games that I picked up from 401. Um, but let's get into these, shall we? I'm going to quickly catch up on chat here, which I will say it's very hard to see chat when my iPad is this way. Let me turn the iPad this way. They need to like make the words smaller or bigger, not any smaller on this because I can barely read things. I just came into people that were killed with Winchester rifles. I... Uh, <laughs> Mimi, I'm so ex I'm I'm so sorry about that. We were chatting about this game right here, which is Floor Plan, um, the Winchester Mystery House, which is basically that. Um, the wife of the guy who invented the Winchester rifles, um, she started like building their house in crazy ways because um, she thought that the people that were killed by Winchester rifles were haunting their house. Um, because of obviously her husband inventing them. So it's a labyrinth. Yeah, it's insane. It's so cool. It was after her kid and husband died. Oh yes, her child also died. I think she thought that if she kept building, it would keep bad luck away. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So much crazy stuff. I toured the Win Winchester house once. Adam, I am so jealous. Um, I want to take a tour. Yeah. Ooh. Jenna, I would go with you the next time uh, we're on the West Coast. Let's freaking do that, Meg. That will be absolutely amazing. I would love that. <laughs> Lady Winchester, the original final girl. <laughs> absolutely. Wobbler Bear, Bear Trail. Hello. Fun fact, everyone. Wobbler Bear... I can never say their username. Wobbler Bear Trail... Uh, was the one that actually made up the name The Board Game Garden, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so huge shout out to Wobbler for, for doing that. That's freaking awesome. I think Heat has so many cool ideas, but personally found it boring. Okay, understandable. It's not for everyone. My racing game I will own is Dungeon Cart since Rallyman Dirt fell through. Canada is holding my co copy hostage. Oh no. Did a psychic, psychic tell her to keep building? I heard that somewhere, but don't know if it's true. Maybe. Um, that would be funny if all of this was because a psychic told her to do it. 
Like, girl, keep on building. You keep on wi- wasting that Winchester money on building random stuff. All right. I get so distracted. Let's open this first box, shall we? I have no idea what this is. This is from Spain. I don't know what game is coming from Spain, but I might know what it is after I open it. So most of the time when I receive games, um, I do get emails before that like tell me that they're coming or the publisher will email me themselves and be like, hey, would you like to receive this? Um, Excuse me, sometimes I say no, sometimes I say yes. (gasps) I'm so excited. Why, why did I not know that this was coming? <gasps> I didn't realize this was coming so soon. Oh my goodness. Guys, guys, we have a spooky season game. Did you guys see what it was? Does anyone have any guesses? We should play floor plan in the Winchester house. Yes. Did anyone see what it was when I opened it? I don't think you did. Oh my goodness, I'm so pumped. This is a game that I actually backed. Uh, Washi tape, what is that? (laughs) Washi tape is just like decorative tape. So this one here, if you guys can see it, it has like flowers and moons and crystals and stuff. (laughs) George, I wish this was Septima. (laughs) Boop, nope, it's not. It's not boop, boop. Can almost see through it, okay. Will not, um, will not hold it up to the camera uh, very close. Oh, too small for Septima? Yes, it is too small. A few people have gotten it right in the chat. I backed this one on, uh, I think it was Kickstarter. I backed this on Kickstarter and I did not realize it was coming so soon. It is witchcraft. Woohoo! I didn't realize it was coming so soon. I am so excited. Give us a hint. Too late. Sorry, James. <laughs> Way too small for what is ATO? Dreadful Meadows. Ooh, I would love to try Dreadful Meadows. Ooh, witchcraft. She turned me into a newt. Wow, that came real soon. Yeah. I didn't realize it was being delivered so soon. But look at that. We got it. It's here. Witchcraft. Um, If you guys did not know, this is a solo game. Solo only game. Um, It's very fun. I'm super excited. I will probably be playing this sometime in October for spooky season. Um, it is similar to if you guys, uh, saw me play Resist. I played Resist. That is another solo only game by salt and Pepper Games. Um, but it plays similarly to that, but I do think it has a few differences to it. Um, but basically you have these character cards that you're either using at their, like, or in their hidden mode or their revealed mode. If you use them in their revealed mode in order to do some sort of, Um, action, you have to discard them and you can't use them for the rest of the game. But if you use them in their hidden mode um, for that action, which is usually like a not as strong action, um, you actually get to put them into another pile, which then you get to like reshuffle and then you will eventually get again. Um, And you're just trying to defeat different people at um, different locations. That's pretty much what Resist was, but um, this one is more of like a witchy theme, which I am freaking pumped about. This theme definitely speaks to me more than the Resist theme, that's for sure. (laughs) Call Catan. (laughs) Uh, Oh, Aeon's Trust, or Aeon's Trespass Odyssey, good lord. Witchcraft is shipping. Heck yes, it was on GameFound. Yes, it was. Where is my copy? Um, so live stream of Witchcraft over the next two weeks. Absolutely. That is definitely happening. Dreadful Metals is on Tabletopia. Oh, good to know. 
I do have Tabletopia, or no, I don't have Tabletopia. I have Tabletop Simulator. <gasps> Ooh, it says shipped for me, Jenna. Did it come through Canada Post? Um, it did come through Canada Post, I believe. Um, yeah, I do think it came through Canada Post. I hope I can get that one on ret in retail. I believe you will be able to, Mimi. Um, how can you resist opening the box immediately? Oh, oh my goodness. It was very difficult. All of these boxes came within the last week. Um, the funny thing is, is that a lot of the times, like weeks are pretty quiet. I might get like one package on average a week, but then there's some weeks like this where I get so many packages coming in and it is just absolutely insane so yeah I was like I'm getting a lot of packages this week maybe I should just like keep them all tabletopia is free oh that's good to know um maybe I'll get that um but yeah I saw that I was getting a lot of packages and I'm like maybe I should keep them all um not open them and then uh open them on stream so that's what we're doing this one I have absolutely no idea it's from Lion Rampant uh, Imports. What publisher uses Lion Rampant? I don't know what that is. I think I looked it up and I think it said something about Asmodee, but I am not sure. I don't know what's coming from Lion Rampant, but we will see what it is right now. Uh, do it. I've been meaning to play on Tabletopia more. Okay. Sounds good, Aiden. Will do. Ooh, a game called Nightmare Cathedral showed up unexpectedly last week. Ooh, nice. Uh, a lot of them. Okay. I know I've heard of Lion Rampant before, but I didn't know what it was. I don't know what this is. I'm so nervous. What is it? Oh! <gasps> I didn't know I was getting this. <gasps> Dude, I'm freaking pumped. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> we got this fox experiment, people. I'm freaking pumped. <gasps> okay. Oh, wow. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. So this is the fox experiment. It is designed by Elizabeth Hargrave and Jeff Frazier. And this is by Pandasaurus Games. And I did, I believe I like filled out a thing. I got an email from Pandasaurus that they were going to be shipping out some review copies of the Fox Experiment. And I filled out like a little thing. Um, <laughs> you're so fun. <laughs> Thanks, Meg. I, I try. Um, but yeah, I filled out a little thing and it's like, if you are accepted, we'll send you an email that you're getting a copy. And I guess I was accepted and they sent me a copy. So, oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Pandasaurus. I am so excited to play the Fox Experiment. Holy manoli. I just filmed an unboxing for this one. Nice, Joe. Nice, nice. What? Uh, oh my God. I'm anxiously waiting for mine. Yeah! I'm pumped! Oh, dude, this game looks so good. And you get to name the foxes. Oh, dude. Brings me back to my youth when I do could uh, still feel things. <laughs> Nat. Oh my goodness. Before the games industry jaded me. Ooh, waiting for the fox experiment too. Excited to see how it is. The game looks so good. It does. It really does. Lady Croft, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm gonna show you guys the back of it. It looks very, there's a lot going on on these boards, I will say. Someone named their foxes Anna and Nigel. <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> Nigel the fox, oh boy. All right, so that is the fox experiment. I, yeah, I had no idea that that was, was coming. So that's fun. Um, so this one here, this next one is, oh, 
Hopefully no one saw that. <laughs> um, so hopefully what I think this is is what it is. It is uh, the king's crown. I think that's what it's called. Hello, hello. MJ Goldheart, welcome to the stream. How are you? Uh, yeah, it looks heavier than I expected. Yeah, it's it's looking pretty pretty heavy. I don't think it's going to be like super, super heavy. It'll probably be around the same as Wingspan. Maybe a little bit heavier than Wingspan. Um, I also am seeing here that it's one to four players. So there is a solo mode, everyone. Exciting, exciting. Ooh, I have the Fox experiment coming. I am pumped. Alex, hello. Welcome to the stream. I almost backed this one. I'll be curious to hear your thoughts. Yes, I will definitely let you know. So far, this unboxing video is ex exceeding expectations, Jenna. I am glad. <laughs> I am so, so glad. All right. Ooh, quick, everyone. Be cool. Make fun of Alex or something. <laughs> No, I'm the old man here. Is there a lot of old men in my chat? <laughs> uh, it's only a 2.3. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Everyone in chat's like, no, I'm old. <laughs> no, I'm old. All right, let's see what we have here. I don't really know how this box opens. This tape is like very... It, like, is the same color as the box. It's crazy. Aw, Alex, thank you. Palkatan. Thank you so much, Alex, but that is not happening. <laughs> Never happening. I am actually going to get the Catan 3D edition. <sighs> Isn't that exciting? <laughs> I'm not actually. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Okay. I'm really hoping I'm allowed to show you guys this. I'm pretty sure I am. Um, so this is... Oh my goodness. More people telling me to call Catan. Adam. <laughs> the old king's crown. Let's see if it is that. Heck yeah it is. This is it. Alex paying the $5 he got yesterday to Jenna. <laughs> How much would it cost chat to call Catan? That's a good question, Aiden. I would say, I'm not gonna say, cause who knows, people would probably, probably pay it. Just so that NDAs mean nothing here. <laughs> I got I got scared for a second there, Meg, that like you guys had an NDA. I don't have an NDA, so yes. But yeah, I'm not gonna say anything about how much because who knows? This community is crazy. Crazy in a good way, though. Here it is. It's upside down, but here it is. Just want to make sure. I arrived! Hopefully safe and hopefully sound. Thank you for agreeing to take a look at the Old King's Crown in person. It means the world to myself and the small team behind the game to have an opportunity like this. The Kickstarter launch is scheduled for Tuesday, October 24th. Everyone put that in your, uh, in your calendars. And marks a huge milestone in an almost five-year life... Hold up. Five-year life of this project. They've been working on this game for five years. Wow. That is wild. I truly hope you have a wonderful time exploring the game, its systems, and... The weird wee world my friends and I have made. Aw. All the best, Pablo, Andrew, and the Eerie Idols team. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. I think we've already sent like $60 at least. <laughs> yeah, $5 at a time every once in a while. Like, I could probably just buy another copy of Catan. I just hit the camera. Apologies for that. All right. So what do we have here? We have Ye Old King's Crown. Let me zoom in. 
Ooh, gorgeous. Because this one is not in shrink, I might actually open it up and show you guys. This is the, the cover. Look at how gorgeous this art is. It's insane. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, guys. Yeah. You're wonderful, Adam. <laughs> Thank you. We can start a GoFundMe for Jenna to call Katan. <laughs> Ricky Royal just did a playthrough of its solo. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> All right. We have this massive rule book. Oh, boy. That's a chunky rule book. We have a round sequence. We have start of year, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Ooh, so we're going through like years. That's fun. We have another rule book, which is just for solo. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Call the old king's crown and send it to Nat. <laughs> you are freaking hilarious, Nat. You are so, so funny. But that's not happening. It's not happening at all. At all. It ain't. <laughs> no, I'm a monster. Oh, wait, I lied. I'm covering the Queen's new capital, not the old King's crown. There are Those are very similar. Different games, but I know why I'm confused. It's beautiful. It really is. This is, like I said, the solo mode. I've never seen a solo mode rule book so big in my life. But that's the solo mode. We got order track. Beautiful. Oh, these are cool. So these are like things that you, it actually has like a spot that you can like slide a card into. That's cool. Printing press, old sentry. Um, when a card with quest enters, you may activate its site of power. When a card with quest enters, you may activate uh, this site of power. Okay, cool. We have more of those with some gorgeous art. Dude. This stuff is gorgeous. <laughs> You're the nicest art I've ever seen. <laughs> Reading rule books is fun. I need to start thinking about it as being fun. Because honestly, that's like one thing with this job that I kind of put off for a very long time. Can we get in on this? Ask Jenna for the contact info. <laughs> what are you getting in on? I'll reach out. Yeah, reach out. Oh my goodness. George. <laughs> Bless whoever said Tabletopia was free because I didn't know and I'm shocked at the selection they have. Oh my goodness, Vicky, that's amazing. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll jump on Tabletopia as well at some point. We have a bunch of cards, which I don't know if I'm going to open all of them right now, but this one looks like there's some really nice art in it. So let me open these cards and we will see. Yeah, Marina, I'm the same. Uh, I'm a visual learner as well. So if there is ever a video um, already up on YouTube of a game, I will much prefer to watch the video over read the rule book. Um, but sadly, now that I'm starting to get games that don't necessarily have videos for them yet, um, I'm starting to have to read rule books. So I need to learn how to do that. All right, we got some, some very pretty cards. Let me show you guys some of these. Ooh, pretty. Wow. Ooh. 
Sorry, I'm mesmerized by this art right now. The art style is so cool. It's like slightly like creepy in a way because it's like sketchy. I'm assuming the ones that are blank like this, I'm assuming that's just art that is still needing to be made. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I appreciate that this is the game <laughs> you open up to show us. Well, no problem. I am very intrigued by this one, for sure. And it was also, like, already out of shrink, so... Ooh. Pretty. I, I like, have no idea how this game plays. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But I'm very intrigued. Yeah, so I'm assuming these ones just don't have art for them yet. Then you have the different things there all right I love chunky rule books I need to learn how to love chunky rule books we got some cards some more cards some more of these thingy mabobs Ooh. -hoo -hoo -hoo. This is so pretty. The Great Road. Kingdom draw. Kingdom card one. Kingdom card two. Kingdom card three. I don't know what this is. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Castle. Wilderness. Harvest field. Battlefield. Shrine. And Necropolis. Cool. And then we have, I believe these are the player boards. So you have all of the different factions, I believe, that you can play. Um, so you have all the different colors of boards. Enough, nice double layered boards. Super cool. We have... Some more cards that I'm not going to open. This is a really nice prototype. Like, just to let you guys know, this is a prototype, so... Wow. Alright. I'm interested because there's not really a... A big board. So I guess, like, the, the main board was the one that I showed you with, like, the castle and stuff. And I guess, like, you have these things out as well. I am very excited to learn this one. I'm very excited to show you guys how it plays. This one, like I said, will be coming to Kickstarter on the 24th of October. So expect to see some sort of... Um, preview content on this at some point around then. There we go. That's that. The Old King's Crown. <clears throat> also, I got Starbucks today. Um... I feel like I remember how to play games better on Tabletopia because I have to manually do everything. I love the ease of BGA though. Yeah. Did you guys see that they are bringing Planet Unknown to BGA? Did you guys see that? I was like shook when I saw that. You have no idea how excited I am. There goes my Kickstarter budget for the month. <laughs> I can't wait to get Apiary 2 because it also includes a how to teach insert uh, with more games, uh, which more games really need to do. That's actually very cool. I love that. Looks like a really nice, some really nice art in production. Yeah, even their, the prototype, like I said, really good. I just bought Planet Unknown. It is freaking incredible. Yep. 
totally bored. I 100% agree. Planet Unknown is fantastic. I have three games of Planet Unknown going on VGA now. Dude, that's amazing. Are you part of the like alpha thing, Joe? Or do you get invited by people that have access to the alpha? Because I don't think I am... Oh, yeah. It is on uh, Sovereignty or Sovereignty, that website, but I've never really tried that one. With this and Critter Kitchen, I'm finally back into crowdfunding after like two years of backing maybe one game. Nate, Nat, why? Why do I do that? Nat, um, that is awesome. I backed Creature Caravan. I really need to look into that one and possibly back it because I love Red Raven games. And also it is a, um, what is it called? It's a dice game. Like there's some dice manipulation and stuff like that. Um, so I know I'm going to like it. Yep, I'm on Alpha. If you have played 750 games on BGA, you can join. Oh, good to know. I will probably go see if I've played uh, 750 games. Anyone backing Merchants of Magic? Adam? I might be. We will see. I actually have never played Merchants of Magic, um, but I really, really want to try it. Dice Throne Kickstarter this month. Yep. There's a lot of good Kickstarters this month. Like October, I am very busy with a lot of previews for some really freaking awesome games, so I am pumped. They just added City of Iron reprint as an add-on for the Creature Caravan campaign. That's amazing. That's another one that I wanted to play. Merchants of Magic is also on Tabletopia, I believe, but not the new expansion, obviously. I need to try it then. I do think that they were going to send me a copy of Merchants of Magic, but then I never sent them my address. So maybe I should go and reach out again about that because I need to play Merchants of Magic. It is one of the ones that like I've been searching for online and I need it. Critter Kitchen is October 24th, is it not? Or 22nd? I believe it's the 24th as well. New Obsession. Yep, the character expansion. Dude. Insane. Ugh. Next up. We got this one. Let's see what's in this one. It's at Board Game Bliss? Ooh, good to know. I think two copies left. Yeah, the thing is, is that I always go to buy it and then it sells out. And then like sometimes they get some back, uh, but it usually takes a while. I never played Obsession, but I think my wife would love it based on the theme. Obsession is fantastic, Adam. You need to play it. Like, even if you don't personally like the theme, um, Francis doesn't have any sort of, like, connection to the theme, but he loves Obsession and the gameplay of it, so. If the theme is something that you could get past, then I definitely think it's one that you would enjoy. Is an obsession on BGA? It is. Let's play. Adam, let's play some obsession. You should peek inside first and then give us some hints. Well, first hint for this one. <laughs> I think that's the only thing that's in here. What the heck? Why is it so fancy? What is this? I am confused. Oh my goodness. Why is it so fancy? What is in this box? This is the game that I was sent, which is Spellbook. This is a Phil Walker Harding um, like, magic-themed game, which I freaking love, and I've heard a lot of good things about Spellbook, so... What? Yeah, what is this? What is this? Joe, you got this, right? You got Spellbook. 
Did you also get this little black box, Joe? Because I don't know what's in this little black box here. So we got spell book, but then we also have this fancy box here. <laughs> I didn't get a super fancy box. Uh, I got a pre-order promo with mine. Ooh. I've only seen the yellow cover. Oh, interesting. Wow, didn't even know there was a deluxe edition. Is this what this is? Is this a deluxe edition? I don't know what this is. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So we have Spellbook. Uh, welcome, magicians. This game box contains a magical vortex. Open with caution. Powerful enchantments await spell... Or powerful enchantments await. Period. <laughs> Spellbook will bewitch you and cap cap <laughs> captivate your imagination. Will you master your spells and best your advert adversaries? English is hard. <laughs> Can you resist the charm of Spellbook? Dun dun dun. Wow, this is a lot of fancy writing. Holy Manoli. This is this is wild. Alright, so I have I literally have a spell book. I don't know if you guys can see, but it says Spellbook. Then there's also a pencil here. That says spell book. This is so cool. I was not expecting to receive like a fancy little PR package. Huge thank you to Asthma Day Canada for this. This is so cool. Oh, this is so pretty. What the heck? I'm not okay. What is this thing? Well, Walter, stop barking, please. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. I'm trying to figure out how... Walter! Shush! I'm so confused how this works here. I think this is slightly messed up. But it's like a a really pretty like a pendulum kind of. I think this sun is just caught on something. There we go. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. <gasps> wow. I need to show you guys this in the front facing camera. Oopsie. Look at this. Do you guys see this? <gasps> it's so pretty. Is it necessary for the game? It is not. Not at all. Oh, my goodness look at how beautiful this is walter is excited for spellbook too he certainly is it's clearly a walter toy it has ghost <laughs> so pretty wow 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 all right uh to whom it may magically concern Ooh. oh god I'm just ripping the paper. Let me switch back. Dear Magician, we're delighted to provide you with this kit to help you improve your spellcasting skills. You'll find an original game board um, on which to place your cards, a grimoire to record your points, ideas, and thoughts, a sun catcher to help your magic shine, 
a sheet of stickers to choose your favorite familiars, um, postcards from the universe of the game. Uh, we hope you'll find all the luck you need to cast the most powerful spells and emerge victorious. Don't hesitate to share your experience on your social networks, tagging the Asmodee account of your country and the hashtag spellbook the game. Magically yours, spellbook. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. This is so nice. Thank you so much, Asmodee Canada. I was not expecting this at all. We got the stickers. We got some postcards with some gorgeous art, specifically this one, very gorgeous. We also have, ah, this is cool. Don't really know what it's for. I'm sure I will know what it's for once I play the game. But yes, that is everything there. Thank you, Asmodee Canada. I appreciate it. I, like I said, was not expecting any of this. This is like my favorite thing ever. So that's definitely going to be hung up somewhere in my house. There we go. I'm very excited to try out Spellbook. Just because of like the theme and I have heard good things about the gameplay. So yes. My fit to print is finally shipping out. Amazing! That's dope. Very cool. Nice. A sun catcher. Yes, it's so pretty. Witchy season uh, has just gotten 10 times better with that thing. I agree, George. You could use the pendulum to decide which familiar to pick, rotate it, and then let it land on one of them um, all in a tight circle. That is so cool. Jealous. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Joe. I was not expecting that. I was like, holy manoli, this is wild. All right, next box. Um, this is from, I have no idea. I again, don't really know what this is either. So let's see what's in here, shall we? This is, I'm gonna peek and then you guys can guess. What do you guys think it is? I can give you a hint. It is a dice game of a very well-known game. I clearly didn't get into Hogwarts, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Holy smokes, I caught a live stream with a hat and new boxes. Hello, Sean. Welcome to the stream. Yes, I am wearing a hat. I don't really use hats very often or <laughs> use hats. I don't really uh, wear hats. That's the word. Drugs. Yep, it's drugs, Meg. You got it right. <laughs> Pendulums were used uh, for divination or answering questions uh, they would have like a circle board with a yes on one side and a no on the other. Yeah, I've seen some people do that. I've also seen like they use these like two bar things and you hold them and they're like straight out and then like the bars turn to one side or the other side depending on the answer. Terraforming Mars, the dice game. Grand Austria. Oh, I wish it was the Grand Austria Hotel rolling right. You have no idea. My City Roll and Write. I do have My City Roll and Write, Kim, which, spoiler alert, I've been playing it pretty much every night. I have been loving My City Build and Write. Um, it's been like my coffee table game. I love it. Still waiting on my letter. <laughs> Aw. Another hint, please. Um, a few people have already gotten it in chat, so I will... I will just open it up. It is a space themed game. I'm sure that will help you guys. Very well known space themed game. Roll and write. Dun 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 dun. We have Terraforming Mars the Dice Game. I've been super excited to try this one. 
I know the currently the publisher is under a little bit of heat for the whole AI art thing. But honestly, I am still very excited for this game. With all of that aside, I'm still very excited for that. Ooh, we've played it a bunch. It's uh, it's fun. Nice. I'm very excited. I am a huge fan of Roll and Writes, so give me any game in Roll and Write form, and yeah, I am very very excited. Despite the controversy, yes, exactly. Uh, we'll have to play this. Uh, heard good things. Yes, board to play 100%. We need to schedule another board game day so that I can get some of these games to the table because there are so many good ones. Holy Manoli. Bummed it wasn't Nickelback Yahtzee. <laughs> I would have loved Nickelback Yahtzee. <laughs> This game plays well. I like it over all other Terraforming Mars games. No way. Danny Cha, welcome uh, to the stream, by the way. No, did they really? Yeah, Aiden. It's it's a little bit unfortunate. Um, yeah. My city, uh, Roll and Build, is on BGA now, too. Yes. So that's actually where I played it first. I played like a whole chapter on, or I don't even know if I played maybe the whole entire thing, but I played with a few other people. We played through a, a lot of My City uh, Roll and Build, and then I ended up getting a copy from Cosmos, and it looks, or it plays fantastic, and I love it. Is that actually a thing? I saw they have Hocus Pocus Yahtzee and NBC. <laughs> Amazing. Not really rolling right though. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah, I haven't really actually looked at the back though. Let's actually look at the back. Oh. Oh, okay. You know what? For some reason when I, th when it says the dice game, I assume that it would be a roll and write, but it's not actually a roll and write. It looks like it's more of just like a game with like dice manipulation and stuff. So that's interesting. This is what the back looks like. Interesting. I am intrigued by this now. Roll the dice, uh, affect them, then play a card. Okay. Cool. I'm interested to try that one. It's more like resource management with dice. Okay, good to know. Very, very good to know. Um, okay. Let's do... Let's do this one. I believe this is another prototype. Exactly, dice manipulation. Okay, cool. Um, I believe this is another prototype for another game that I'm going to be covering on the channel. Um, if you guys have heard of the game Zoo Tycoon, the board game, um, this is from the same publisher. I did do coverage for Zoo Tycoon, the board game, which by the way, Zoo Tycoon, the board game is hopefully finishing up very soon um, and being delivered very soon. And so they are working on their next Kickstarter, which is another like animal themed game. Uh, long pack will probably mean a good quality prototype. Yep. I'm very excited about this one. I've heard it's pretty fun. Nice. So this is probably one that you guys have never heard of, but it is. One that's going to be coming out, I believe, in October as well. Possibly November. Say. All right. Boom. I think we're already zoomed in enough. This is called Wild Duo. 
It is five different games for two players. It's from Triceratops, which is the same publisher as Zoo Tycoon, the board game. Um, is it Biome? It is not Biome, but I do want to, I believe the publisher of Biome reached out to me um, or the designer of Biome. I do want to, let me know if you guys would want me to cover Biome. Um, it is a new game that I believe is coming out at some point at the end of the year. And let me know if you guys would want to see it. Hmm, never heard of it. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. It's five different games in one box for two players. Um, it is, uh, what is it called? Like abstract games. So if you are interested or are into abstract games, um, basically each of these pairs of animals represents one of the five different abstract games. They have the two birds, the two monkeys, the two elephants, the two seals, and the two whales here. And yeah. I'm very excited to get into that one and do a preview on that one. Um, all right, next. I would love to see you preview Biome. Um, it's very wingspan, wingspan slash earth inspired. Love both games. Ooh, cool. That sounds awesome. All right, so this one actually has three different games in it which I think actually one of them I already own. So you guys can see a little bit of it. So I don't think you can now guess. So we have, these are from Indie Board, Boards and Games, Cards, Boards and Cards. So we have this one here, which is called Freehand. Anyone can make a masterpiece. Indie boards and cards. Um, interesting. Freehand is a creative party game where anyone can make a masterpiece. Each round, image cards will be set up in the middle of the table and each player will secretly choose one to be their inspiration. The goal is to paint something close enough to your inspiration that everyone can guess what image you picked. The twist, you're painting with cubes. Oh, okay. Um, use your arts pen to push around mini cubes to make an abstract masterpiece before time runs out. Interesting. So you're like pushing a pencil around and you're like pushing cubes around. Guess with the entire title visible <laughs> when you open. Yep. Uh, oh, side note, Jenna, not sure you saw in the Discord. I posted the video for Animal Crossing Lego <gasps> coming out. I was losing my mind. No freaking way. Lego and Animal Crossing are doing a like a crossover. That is sick. Okay. We also have Riverside, which Riverside is a roll and write that I actually purchased myself like two months ago. Um, so this one I might be able to either sell or um, obviously like I purchased the first one. So I would feel okay selling this one because I purchased it myself. Um, but yes, or I could do like a giveaway or something for sure. But Riverside... I purchased it myself and I still haven't gotten it to the table. It was one that I was really, really interested in, so. I have so much garbage around me. Last one we have is Doodle Dash, which I actually played Doodle Dash. I think Doodle Dash was actually the first game that I played with my friend Steph, as well as a few other people that um, I think Aiden and chat also played this with us. And oh, what was her name? I forget what her name was, but I met her at Breakout Con. We played it. It's great. It is a really good party game. Very, very fun. Very chaotic. I have about 200 hours in Animal Crossing on Switch. My wife is probably close to a thousand hours in it. Yeah. Adam, I am probably close to what your wife is at as well. I played Animal Crossing probably for 
pretty much all of 2020 and into 2021 as well, I was at a point where I was going on Animal Crossing every single day and playing Animal Crossing for hours upon hours every single day, working on my island. I was very, very obsessed. I do want to get back to playing Animal Crossing. I will say it's very fun. All right. So those are the games that were in this package. I have 2,000 hours in Animal Crossing. That is fantastic. Um, huge thank you to Indie Boards and Cards for sending these over. I am very excited. Appreciate it. All right, so we have one more package technically, but I will say, oopsie, let's not look at that side. Can I see if I can take this off first? Please hold, everyone. I'm going to open this one off camera. Hi, Vortac. Welcome, welcome. I flowered so hard until I got all the flowers. <laughs> Did you try to collect like all the different rare um, flowers, Meg? I definitely tried to do that as well. Um, there's like the, I think there was like a gold flower. Ooh, look at this. What are these? Okay, so I got a bunch of promo things for Flamecraft. Um, basically, this is a um, like creator promo for a new building or a new shop for Flamecraft. So this is called the Rare Medium, and the only way that you can get this is through getting it from a creator. So if you guys want a promo for Flamecraft, please let me know. Um, I am 100% willing to ship these off to anyone that would like one. Um, I will pay for shipping, so if you guys want that. I do have some like extra stamps and stuff. Um, so... Yeah, if you want, you can send me a DM on, <laughs> oh my god, more adorable Flamecraft art. I love this one. I love that it's a medium and the dragon has a pizza in the crystal ball. It's amazing. <laughs> um, but yes, let me know if you guys want a promo. Just send me a message on Discord if you want one. And I will send you one. 100%. I would love one, Jenna. Uh, uh, and I can cover shipping. Okay. Well, let me know. Um, just message me, like I said, on Discord. Um, I have not looked at my Discord messages in a while. So hopefully I will see them. Um, I do think there's like a request section on Discord as well, which I we'll probably have to check because a lot of the messages, if we're not friends on Discord, um, all of them might go to the request section. So just message me on Discord and I will go into my request section and see um, who I only have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten of these. Um, I am tempted to keep one for myself. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I got one, so I might only have nine of them. So the first nine people to message me um, on Discord, I will send you one. Um, but yeah, I do want to keep one for myself. Um, sorry, I'm just, I love Flamecraft and I really want a promo. So yes, nine people will get a rare medium promo for Flamecraft. So like I said, just message me on Discord and we can work it out on there. Uh, whether you want to pay for shipping or just have me pay for it. I don't know how to use Discord. <laughs> um, if you go on to Discord, Melinda, or Melinda, you could obviously, um, you can message me on Instagram as well if you'd like. If Instagram is easier for you, message me on Instagram. Uh, I'm so baffled by it. Yeah, if you guys are confused with uh, Discord, then uh, you can message me on Instagram as well. 
Um, or email me if you have my email. I don't know if anyone has my email. I believe my email is on my YouTube channel, so you could just email me as well. Um, I'll let someone who will play the game more have it. Aw, Kim, you're so nice. We don't get it to the table often. Yeah, so if you like really love Flamecraft, uh, definitely message me and I'll send you a promo. Very cool though. Yeah, I think it's really cool that they're doing that. Um, basically, whoever, whatever content creator wanted them sent to them, they actually asked like, how many do you want? Like we can send you as many as you'd like. I didn't know how many people would want one from me. So I got 10 of them. I don't know if I can get any more, but I could like if they go pretty quickly and there's more people that want them, I can try to get more. Um, let me know if that's something that you guys would want. Um, we'll feel it out as it goes, but we have one more package, everyone. This is a very exciting package. This is one that I know what's in it and I am stoked about it. I've seen a few other creators open a package with this stuff in it. I did not know I was getting this and it just randomly came up on an email and I'm like, holy crap. I was not expecting this. This is one of my favorite games of all time. I believe um, this was in my top 10. So you best believe I'm excited about this one. This is one of my favorite games and it is coming out with a, uh, what is it called? A expansion. Why did my, my brain just went blank? You underestimate your popularity. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm so sorry, guys. I, I should have got more. Uh, can confirm email is in the... The dupe, the doobly do down below. <laughs> what is that word, George? <laughs> ah, it's Catan 3D plus all the expansions. Yep. 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 Top 10 game, Catan. <laughs> Can anyone guess? Hadrian's Wall expansion. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine if there was a Hadrian? I would be crying right now if this was a Hadrian's Wall expansion. Taverns of Teeth and Thal open doors. I do want that expansion. I do want that one, Jesse. <laughs> Top 10 game of mine. New expansion for it is coming out very soon. Do you know what it is? Everyone guess in the chat. It is a made up word, but it is in your description box. <laughs> Thank you, George. <laughs> Will they get it? Okay, I messaged on Instagram. I hope that works. Sounds good, Melinda. It, it definitely will work. More content for Hadrian's Wall would stress me out, lol. <laughs> I'm going to freak out if it's the Obsession character expansion. This is a pretty big box, I will say. It's pretty large and in charge. Dog Park, I already have the, the expansion for Dog Park, which is very good, by the way. There is, I will say, there is a backpack in here. They sent a backpack. That might actually let you guys... Ooh, Obsession Expansion with Metal Coins. Ooh. Arnak Expansion? I can't spell. Nope, not that one. I don't remember what your top 10 is. Do you guys want me to read out my top 10? Obsession. It could, mm, could be Obsession. They did send the base game, even though I already have it. Let me know. Mythic Mischief. I do already have Mythic Mischief. Oh, oh, everyone's got it. Everyone got it. It certainly is Cascadia Landmarks. I am so freaking excited. I don't know what's in here. What is this? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I got a freaking Cascadia backpack. This is so cool. This is so cool. Look at this. I love this so much. <laughs> St 
Studio 2 could be Dutch Blitz. <laughs> Jenna, don't spoil your top 10. But this was like, this was like my top 10 from like last year. My top 10 has changed since that. I was going to read out my old top 10. It's an envelope. I realize. <laughs> I know what it is, Nat. I know it's a, I know it's an envelope. I just don't know what's in it. The backpack giveth away. I saw Brother Smurf open it. Um, they also got a backpack. Yep. Jenna, we will use these when we go to Yellowstone and then venture up to the Winchester house. Heck yes, Meg. Matching backpacks. Oh, I love this so much. AEG Flat Out Games. This is such a fun package. I love this. All right. Oh. <gasps> there she is. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> Here we go. We got, got Cascadia Landmarks, an expansion for Cascadia. <gasps> oh, my goodness gracious. And then I also did get an extra copy of Cascadia, which I will most likely be giving away. So... Oh, here we go. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Just joining after work. Man, you should have unboxed this a day early so we could have played this. Excited for this expansion too. Oh, yeah. Honestly, Steph, when I realized that we were going to be having that game day yesterday and then uh, realizing that I needed to keep these up, like all boxed um it made me a little bit sad because i'm like what if i unbox something that i like want to play with everybody because like not gonna lie i got the fox experiment too and like i would have loved to play that but i will say i would have had to learn all of them so yeah but this is one that like i definitely could have learned quickly and we could have played uh <laughs> do you need my address for that cascadia <laughs> Mike, hello. Welcome to the stream. Love your channels. Greetings from Monten... What is that? Montengero? Hello. Dan Dan Danielo? Hello. Welcome to the stream. Apologies for misreading your country you're from as well as your name. I, I apologize. Oh, cool. I want to uh, play Cascadia. I hear great things. Cascadia is fantastic. I love Cascadia, but I decided against the expansion at this point. I will wait to see uh, how others like it and learn some more specifics. I've heard mixed things from some creators. Yep. There's always uh, a next game day, Jenna. Yep, exactly. We had so many games yesterday that we wanted to play, but we always seem to like think we have so much more time than we actually do we literally yesterday we literally started our game day at 10 a.m and we played all the way until 9 p.m so we played for like 11 hours straight we took a slight pause to eat some food at like two and that is it so we were literally playing for probably a solid 10 hours straight and we managed to play i think like four or five games um, we ended up playing, what games did we play? We played Palm Trees, which is a very fun, like, card dexterity game. Um, so that was fun. We also played Expeditions by Stonemaier Games, which I freaking love. Absolutely amazing game. Um, we also played Libertalia, which I didn't really like Libertalia. Um, there was a little bit too much, like, take that for me. Which, I don't know. I don't know. I think I, it was still fun. I just, ugh. I don't know. I didn't love it. It wasn't my favorite of the day. Um, we also played Furnace, which I enjoyed. Um, and then we played Kanban EV. Fantastic game. To be fair, we learned Expedition and Kanban, which are both big. Yeah, exactly. I do think that like those two games, Expeditions and Kanban, were definitely worth it. Like I freaking loved both of those games. So 
yes, it was very fun. Uh, Libertalia and Furnace were also fun, but the two bigger games were absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Jenna is a leave me alone gamer. I certainly am, Aiden. <laughs> I'm like, don't mess up my strategy because I like get, ex like when I'm playing a game, if you guys could hear the like conversations that I'm having in my head with myself <laughs> when I am playing a game and like the amount of just like pumped up things I get. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just, I get, ex I get so excited in my head. And then if someone messes up what I was pumped up about, ooh, I get so sad. But I did love Blood Rage. You are right, George. I did really enjoy Blood Rage. I think I'm okay with it when... I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm okay with it when it's a bigger game because I feel like I can come back from something. But when it's a like a quicker game, I don't know. I feel like I... Wizards of the Grimoire isn't a leave me alone game. Yeah, I don't know. There's like some take that games that I'm okay with, some that I'm not okay with. I don't know what it is. I love Expeditions though. Have you played solo yet? I have not. That is the reason why I really want to get a copy of Expeditions because I would love to be able to experience it solo. Um, Stonemeyer Games has some fantastic solo, so I would love to try that out um, solo. All right, let's see what's in here. I'm assuming it's just the letter. I really love how they put it into like an envelope. That's very nice of them. <laughs> All right. Dear friend, the award-winning puzzly tile laying game is back with a new expansion, Cascadia Landmarks. Woohoo. In Cascadia Landmarks, players create sprawling habitats and place beautiful natural landmarks within them. Landmarks give each environment its own look and feel, while also providing dynamic endgame scoring bonuses. In addition to the Landmarks module, this expansion includes more unique uh, wildlife... Ex bleh, 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 bleh. English is hard. <laughs> scoring cards and habitat tiles to add variety and enough components to play Cascadia with five to six players. Which, I've heard that a lot of people aren't super pumped about the five to six player thing. But I'm really excited about that because Cascadia is one that I would love to be able to play with family. Um, and a lot of the times when we're playing with family, um, we need up to six players. So it always made me sad that Cascadia could only play up to four because I really wanted to play that with more people. So I'm excited about that. Um, and also all of the additional things that the Landmarks is going to add. I'm super excited to see how they play. Um, so yeah. Yeah. That is that. Let me bring out all of the games that we unboxed today so that you guys can kind of see everything that will be coming to the board game garden at some point. Um, did you play with the plastic or, or iron mechs? We played with the plastic ones, which honestly was it was good. I think the difference is both of the games mentioned is that there isn't too many times where to play something and then uh, I think the difference in both of the games mentioned is that there aren't too many times where you play something and then end with a result you didn't expect. Yes, very, very true. I think that's probably what it is. It's like... I get myself so excited about something in my head and I'm like, ooh, this is going to be so good. And then I play it and then right after, instantaneously, they're like, nope, can't do that. And they like completely mess up what I was going to do, if that makes sense. With the games that were mentioned, like Blood Rage and stuff, I'm still doing what I want to do, but then other people are like doing something back to me. I'm okay with that. It's when someone messes up something that I'm doing and like gets in the way of something that I'm doing in that moment. I think that's what it is. Libertalia is very swingy. You can play a card with an expectation of the outcome and a strategy in mind. 
and another player could play something that really shoots you in the foot. Exactly. Yep. Uh, Jenna beat me every time at Wizards of the Grimoire, so she wasn't concerned <laughs> with take that. Yeah, I freaking love Wizards of the Grimoire. So I heard a podcast that explained how I feel perfectly. If uh, the core verb of the game is build or create or something like that, and then uh, take that happens, it removes you from the game. Yep. Yep. That is that is so true. Oh my god, I played Blood Rage for the first time a couple weeks ago, and I got the rage. <laughs> Two player, I got clobbered slash bad luck slash not knowing what I'm doing. Can't say I want to experience that again. Oh no, Melinda, I'm so sorry you experienced that. Uh, Jenna, are you going to get the new Canopy game? I don't think so. I haven't gotten any emails about that. I think there's more with Cascadia, Jenna, maybe in the envelope or in the bag oh maybe i don't think i got anything else what else did you get meg I didn't get anything else. Just a backpack. Let me know what else you got, Meg, because I'm, I'm going to be jealous. A large haul today without having to go to Essen. Exactly. This is my Essen haul, everyone. <laughs> That's what we're calling this. My Essen haul without going to Essen. Woohoo. Essen Hall at home. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, let me get the rest of these out. Um, I will put this aside. Oh, come on, come on. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit everything on the screen, but we will see how it goes. Doing pretty well, doing pretty well. There we go. <laughs> that was fun. Aw, uh, there were patches. They might be at the bottom of the envelope. Uh, if not, I'll give you one. Aw, so nice, Meg. Let me see. Oh. Oh my goodness, they're actually so cute. Oh my gosh. I am obsessed. Meg, if you didn't say something, I probably would have like thrown that in the garbage. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. It's a patch that says I'd rather be playing Cascadia. I love them. There's the fishy. Oh, so cute. Holy crap. Oh, Y'all. I need to put one of these on something. Oh my goodness. Good thing you didn't throw that out. I know. I would have been so sad. My recent haul is Wayfarers of the South Tigris and Now or Never. Oh my goodness, Vicky. Those are some fantastic games. Uh, I love Wayfarers of the South Tigris. Um, I actually can't say they're both fantastic games because I haven't played Now or Never yet. But that actually reminds me that this Sunday, um, so in two days, Sunday, I will be playing Now or Never solo um, here on YouTube. So get excited for that. Um, I'm hoping to maybe schedule it um, today so that you guys will see like the little thumbnail of my live stream. I've been really bad at scheduling them because I'm not used to doing that on YouTube because typically on uh, 
Twitch, you don't have to like schedule your live stream and you don't have to like make a thumbnail and stuff like that. So yeah, I have been a little bit bad at like making them and scheduling my live stream like 30 minutes before I actually go live. So I'm going to try to going forward, if I'm live streaming on YouTube, I really want to schedule the live streams uh, like days in advance so you guys know when to expect live streams. So yeah, expect to maybe see the scheduled live stream for that today um, for Sunday because I will be playing Now or Never um, live here on YouTube. I'm so excited. It's funny that you like you just got it and now I'm playing it. I played two games of Now or Never today and it's incredible. I played Solo 2. Nice. I'm so excited. I still need to learn it though. So that's another thing that I probably have to do uh, today or tomorrow. Everyone turn on your notifications for Jenna. Meg, you're so nice. I appreciate you and miss you so much. Uh, I recently received Co Cosmoctopus and Green Team wins. Both very, very fun. I do want to play Cosmoctopus um, multiplayer. I still want to play Cosmoctopus too. Dylan won't let me have a copy though. Aw. <laughs> uh, Devin even. <laughs> Dylan. I was like, who's Dylan? <laughs> I wasn't going to question it though, Adam. I don't know. I didn't know who Dylan was. What the fuck is wrong with my phone? <laughs> I'm going to tell Devin you called him Dylan. <laughs> um, all right, friends. That is going to be everything for the stream. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing me unbox all of these games. Um, these can be games that you can expect to see more on the channel um, soon. I will probably be playing Witchcraft soon because it is a like spooky themed game. And obviously it's October. I'm trying to play as many spooky themed games as possible. So Witchcraft I'm going to play soon. I'm going to play Floor Plan, uh, the Winchester Mystery House soon. Spellbook is like... Anything that's like witchy magic kind of vibes, like honestly reminds me of October um, as well. So I will most likely be playing Spellbook at some point. It does have a solo mode that I'm very excited about. I want to see a stream of Old King's Crown. I will definitely be streaming the Old King's Crown as well. I will also have a preview video up for the Old King's Crown at some point. Um, and I will have a preview up of wild duo as well sometime in october and ooh, i'm so excited cascadia landmarks terraforming mars the dice game so excited doodle dash freehand and uh riverside is one that i've been needing to live stream regardless so need to do that the fox experiment uh heat i will most likely not be streaming unless francis and i play two player um but i will be playing heat off of stream many many times because it's fantastic with family and friends um and yeah that's everything let me switch over to front facing um this hat is smushing my hair out of its little hole <laughs> nice unboxing stream can't wait to see witchcraft i am very very excited dylan is the old co-host with matt redford and dr peg um that left to work for a publisher called Unfortunate Goose. Oh my god. <laughs> Not. <laughs> so looking forward to witchy games. I am so excited. I'm going to possibly try to reach out to Mind Clash games to see if I can get a review copy of Septima. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it before the end of October. I would love to stream Septima, like the solo mode of Septima. Or even the multiplayer of Septima sometime in October. But I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know how close they are to fulfilling the Septima Kickstarter. So I don't know if that's going to happen. But I am either going to do that or just when it comes to retail. I'll buy myself a copy of Septima um, at retail. Um, because I that's like my number one most anticipated game of 2023. So it is one that I need to get and I need to play and I need to own. That's like the only game on my mind right now that I'm like, I need in my collection this very moment. Yeah, 
Ooh, Septima solo would be great. I would love to do that. So it's maybe going to happen. Maybe not. Septima is already fulfilling U.S. side. Ooh, good to know. Good to know. I think some people have received their games. I saw something online. All right. I will try. Um, if not, that's totally fine. I will probably just buy it myself when it comes to retail. Um, but unfortunately, that will be in a few months, I'm assuming. Um, so, yes. Would love to see Septima Solo. Pre-orders are up at uh, local stores for it. Yeah. I have like almost pre-ordered it so many times, Steph. You have no idea. <laughs> I've cried over Septima at night. Cried myself to sleep. I'm kidding. I haven't done that. I've been close, but... <laughs> Septima has been shipped already. Oh, dude. That makes me so happy. Um, but yeah. Anyways, friends. Thank you all so, so much for joining me today for this unboxing. This was by far one of my favorite streams. I've had so, so much fun hanging out with you guys and unboxing and chatting. And yeah. Uh, oh, but Canada shipping hasn't started yet. Okay. I'm anxiously awaiting Septima, but Leaf is on its way at least. Ooh, yes, I've saw, I've seen Leaf a few times. That one looks like a very fun, like, uh... <laughs> Jenna tries to end stream count one. Oh no, it started. <laughs> Leaf is another one that looks very, um, tissue. <laughs> it looks very fall themed. Oh my goodness gracious, I get way too distracted by chat. <laughs> Thanks, Jenna. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a good rest of your Friday, everyone. Um, have a good long weekend if you're here in Canada. Um, it is the Thanksgiving weekend for us here in Canada, so... Uh, thank you all so much. Hopefully you have a good weekend. Um, I will be streaming on Sunday. Um, I have plans with my family tomorrow, um, Saturday, and then I do have plans with Francis's family on Monday. So I do have my day on Sunday free to uh, do some work and stream with you guys. So I will see you guys on Sunday morning. I don't know exactly when I'm starting the stream, but I will set it up and you guys will see that um, scheduled for Sunday. Um, have a good weekend and I will see you guys on Sunday morning. Love you guys. See you later. Bye. I'm actually going to end the stream now. It's going to happen. <laughs> Bye, friends.